So what we got here is a 3D printer, which we made by hacking a Shopot CNC milling machine. Uh, we have a projector that provides the UV light source. And the way we got this working was actually by creating our own system here with Grasshopper for Rhino. So here you can see the 3D object with the automatically generated support, which is being sliced. And we have created a shopbot code, a G code from this, which is now running on the computer. So here you can see the code is running true. And as it gets to, uh, it basically it moves the platform a little bit down and then up again. So it has a flat, even layer of resin. Then it pauses and it turns output six on. And that stays on for as long as the pauses and then it's turned off again. And when output six is turned on, we actually read out the state of the output pin with an Arduino, which you can see is connected to the control box over here. And that Arduino is again connected to the laptop. So the laptop is then running the slideshow. So you can see here on the screen here, if you can come closer, that you can see now we're reading the analog state pin uh, is now low, false, and now it turned to high, true. And as it's turned high, the slice goes on. You can see here, this is the position now almost in the end of the print and you can see it's just a white little dot coming. So if you move around to the other side, you can see just a tiny little dot being projected. So in about a minute from now, actually, the print should be finished. Uh, we are using the plugin Firefly for, grass, uh, for Grasshopper, which again is a plugin for Rhino. Uh, in this case, we are printing a medallion actually for a friend of uh, Oha. And uh, basically, the tricky part here is then you got to get the shopbot to output, which is easy, but you got to be able to read it, which we do with Arduino. And then we count the count actually you know the amount of switches which is important so we know how to progress so if you come around here now you can see actually the the print is is just about to be finished so we're printing the very last top layers now and this uv proof container we actually uv light proof container we got by by cutting a plastic bottle in two and see uh, here we go that's the first print It's not the first print, but it's the second print of this medallion that's been really successful, it seems. Show it to me. There you go. So now we're going to dip this in a mix of water and isopropanol and uh, then cure it with some UV light again. So let's see that. That's over here. So what we learned from the forums of the internet is that a mix of 50% isopropanol and 50% water for about three minutes does the trick. But you can already see here, if we take a sneak preview, it is looking quite promising. There's a lot of detail in there. Let's see if we can if I move over here, it should get a bit more light. No? So when you're building a CLA printers like this, it's a lot easier actually to tie, print tiny support structures than solid objects. And that's how we've been hacking our shopbot to become a 3D printer. So we go from the scale, which is building this workshop here, to you know, we see the storage systems and the furniture and all these things to this tiny, tiny miniature micro scale by shifting from milling bit to projected pixels and UV resin. Code on GitHub. <laughs>